all the best sports shows, all the best games on 101.5 FM and 1570 AM for your college sports, University of South Dakota. For NHL coverage, Minnesota Wild. For NBA coverage, Minnesota Timberwolves. For MLB coverage, Chicago Cubs. And the best games in both college and the pros with the ESPN Radio featured games. Never miss out on the action. Sitzman Construction, Lamar's, general contractors you can trust with the job you need done, when you need it done. Call Jeremy at Sitzman Construction when you need a remodel or a complete build, and they work with EPS Buildings. Jeremy takes the time to know what you need. Past clients say he's reliable, honest, fair-minded, and reasonably priced. Contact Jeremy at Sitzman Construction. Jeremy and his crew will satisfy all of your construction needs. 712-540-2731. Yeah, uh, you know, good good competition there as always. Um, took a loss to a lot in Bronson squad. I think that uh, might might hurt a little bit, sting a little bit this evening. So it'll be interesting to see how the girls come out and try and rebound from that loss to that lot in Bronson team. Oh, for sure, a senior leader like that with the, the sheer skill that she has at that center position, everything running through her is going to give us a better chance of having successful attacks night, night after night, that's for sure. We'll be back to talk more about tonight's game after this. You're watching The Jays on Polar Digital Solutions. Are you ready to start a career with an exciting team? Thermobond is looking to add to our team of experts. We offer competitive wages, a positive work environment, and on-the-job training. Thermobond is headquartered in Elk Point, South Dakota, and for over 30 years we've been providing lightweight and precast solutions for multiple industries nationwide. Check us out and see if you'd like to start a new career with us today. Park Place Estates Assisted Living in Lamar's. You'll appreciate the secure, comfortable environment with maintenance-free living and the camaraderie of a friendly community. And there's always something fun going on. And located on the Floyd Valley Healthcare Campus gives our residents an added sense of security and convenience. Meet our friendly staff, look over our floor plans, and see more at Park Place Estates or call 712-546-6793. Park Place Estates Assisted Living in Lamar's. On. Yeah, but I mean, he'll just plug in as many as you can. Welcome back to the Dev Campbell Memorial Gym. Matt Schilling alongside Brian Colbeck here. And Brian, Josie Jacobs is leading Akron this year uh, on the assist with uh, 15, uh, sorry, six and a half per game. Uh, and she's feeding Lauren Sadoff, the senior. Uh, she's averaging 4.1 a game. Yeah, a little different look for them this year, too. You know, they had that uh, Natalie Nielsen last season. A uh, big, formidable 6'1", 6'2", girl in the middle that Josie was able to feed also. But yeah, going to Lauren, and now this year with the addition of uh, Mackenzie Hughes, a, a nice athlete, good basketball player, putting up some good numbers for the volleyball team this year. Plenty of uh, opportunities for Josie to distribute the ball amongst his whole team, it looks like, according to the stats anyway. It is Suicide Awareness and Prevention Night here tonight. You'll see that in the girls in their socks. and. Obviously, a very important cause uh, to to be taken up, especially with 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 the um, within the high school. Correct, correct. Uh, coming out of the COVID year and, and hearing uh, nationwide the the stress that these kids were under with that whole dynamic, it's very important that we as a community and society uh, talk about it, not make it so uh, 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 cliche to uh, not cliche. I, I can't find the word I'm looking for, but to just get it on the open and know that lots of families, most families, are affected by this in some way or shape or form. With that being said, we are going to take another one-minute break. We'll be back in one minute to talk more about the Jays and the Westerners here on Full.
Rural customers deserve great internet too. You deserve Evertex No Limits Internet and the quality local services that comes with it. We've dedicated 32 years to bring customers like you reliable and unlimited internet, up to 50 megabits across 22 counties. It's internet you can count on. Call or email our Everly office to get started. You and your family need internet with unlimited use, no contracts, and no overages. You need Evertech. Visit evertech.net to learn more. Evertech, internet where you live. Digital and personal. You can have both with Prime Bank. Use our app to check balances, pay bills, make transfers, even deposit checks. Earn rewards with UPIC Checking, the only checking account that lets you choose your rewards, points, higher interest, or cash back rewards. And when you need in-person service, Prime Bank has a branch near you with a friendly, experienced staff ready to help. The best tech for when you want to bank from a distance and the best people close by when you need us. Prime Bank. Earn more your way. We'll do the intros. Welcome back to the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym. I remind you that going on at Galen right now is the Jay Walkathon. It is a larger fundraiser, so if you do see family and friends posting about it on Facebook, make sure you get in touch with them. Uh, if you're out of the area, I'm sure many of your friends and family will take uh, your Zelle payment or your Venmo and and uh, and will gladly pass pass the payment along uh pass the payment along to the school so brian i think senior leadership is really where the jays need to look tonight to try to help pull them back even further above the 500 win line tonight yeah for sure uh, you know when you have maya uh, jade and sophie all, all these seniors yeah when you get rattled a little bit and, and lose a game that on paper anyway we should have won it, it, like i said I'm, I'm interested to see how they'll perform tonight you know will they come out uh, feeling bad about what happened, or are they just going to continue to shoot for those goals that they set for themselves this season? Yeah, that Lawton, the Lawton game was a tough one, and losing in two straight to Lawton on, on uh, Saturday. Yeah, correct, and, and I'm not a big one for putting a lot of stock in rankings, but with the girls, the way the girls' union has it set up, you know, you really want to find yourself in that top eight at the end of the year to make sure that you have a, 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 a district to yourself and, and not necessarily an easier route to state, but then you know you don't have to face any of the other top eight in the state if you continue in those in that top eight ranking. We say a hearty and get well to uh, and hello to Coach Mike Meyer, who is uh, not in the gym tonight. Um, know that he's been feeling a little bit under the weather, so we we send our best to him here from the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym. And with that being said, we're going to take our final timeout before starting lineups and introductions. You're watching Jays and Westerners on Fuller Digital. We put kids at the top of our list, and that is why parents put Floyd Valley Therapies on the top of theirs. Should your child need physical, occupational, or speech therapy, or assistance through our pediatric feeding clinic, rest assured they are in great hands. As moms, dads, sons, and daughters ourselves, we know how important family is. Taking care of your family is just as important to us as taking care of our own. Thanks for making us part of your community, your health, your life. Floyd Valley Healthcare. Since the 1980s, Colbeck Incorporated has been a family-run business providing their customers with quality wood and feed grinding services throughout Northwest Iowa. Colbeck Incorporated knows that your time is valuable and they pride themselves on getting the job done in a prompt and reliable fashion. Local cattle feeders have been relying on Colbeck Incorporated hay grinding for 30 years and Brian and Kevin are proud of their partnerships they've built with their customers. Whether it's grinding, mulch, or hauling, call Colbeck Incorporated today and see what they can do for you. Welcome back to the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym. Matt Schilling alongside Brian Colbeck here tonight. And we will now step aside for our public address announcer with tonight's pregame ceremonies. Enjoy the game. 
Right, Mark. 
it's easier than ever to find the live stream for your team now on fullerdigital.net. Home and away, if we're covering your team, your team's videos are on fullerdigital.net. Just click on your school and you'll find the game. Thank you for watching our events and remember, the games are on fullerdigital.net. Welcome back to the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym. Matt Schilling alongside Brian Kolbeck. And Brian saw quite the starting lineup, especially in the introduction for the fifth grade team. And really, that's going to be the pipeline, you know, for four or five years down the road for the next Galen Jays. Oh, it's just encouraging to see the numbers of kids that are out. I know over time, uh, some of them will decide that that's not for them. But the excitement that these girls show in events like these when they get to be out with the with the high schoolers, uh, yeah, it really sparks that fire and, and makes them really want to want to get out here someday. Excited! Well, it's good to see the excitement out of the high schoolers too. To, you know, we're slapping five with all the kids and having them run through the lineup line as if they were getting ready to play the night themselves. It's, it's a neat thing to see. Yeah, it, coaches always kind of stress that that you know you are an example for these kids, whether they're watching the stands or in this instance out on the court. Um, I'm sure all the schools kind of enjoy that, getting the young ones involved and and getting that spark lit so that fire burns. Interesting night in the student section tonight. It kind of looks like uh, dressed like a preppy tonight. A lot of backwards hats, a lot of sunglasses. Lots of backwards hats and sunglasses. So, Still waiting. They're checking on lineups right now. Waiting to see who the opening serve is going to go to. And it looks like it's going to go to the Jays here tonight. Lindsey Ryder back to serve for the Jays. To start tonight's first set. Lindsey. I'm sorry. Larissa Poland, that's my fault. Larissa Poland back to serve. Big Maya, right off the, right off the yeah, it, it'll be interesting to see how aggressive Maya is tonight, not having to face that 6-2 Natalie Nielsen, a, a big loss for Akron. Akron's come out with a good record so far this season, so you know they've they've adjusted, but it'll be interesting to see how aggressive Maya is tonight, knowing that 6-2 girl's not across the net from her. 1-0, Larissa Poland back to serve, received by the libero. Kill attempt. Into the double block. Cadence. Barthel tries to get the kill down, not able to. Now to the near side. Nice job again by Rudin. That one's touched out of bounds. Nice job by Jaden. Yeah, you're going to see a heavy dose of Lauren from that outside, and I'm sure Mackenzie Hughes, when she gets in the front, without a dominant middle this season, I'm sure they're going to feed them all night and try and get that going. 2 0. Jays with the lead. That serve received by Sawyer. Kill attempt into the double block. Nice job. Kill is by Sadoff. Goble. And that one's down. Nice kill again by Maya Whitehead. Yeah, like I said, it's just going to be a different look. They're going to have to try and get that double up a little quicker so it looks like Maya's just going to be swinging for the house here tonight so far. 3-0 early run for the Jays here. Larissa Poland back to serve again. Received by the back row, set up. Nice kill attempt by Maslin. Barco, easy tip over the double block. And that one's going to fall on the western side of the court. Great hustle play by Akron there, not letting it hit the floor from my angle. Couldn't quite tell that she got her hand under it, but the referee's right on top of it and let it play. Jay's off to a 4 0 lead to start. Received by Shucknecked. Over the block and down for the Westerners. Yep, Lauren's going to try to maybe do a little more line, shade that outside, and get away from Maya a little bit, hopefully get a few more of those to be through. Natalie Olson of the game and Annie Newton, both subbing to the game for Akron. It'll be Annie back to serve here for the Westerners. A 5 3 junior back to serve. Gives it a good whack. Received. By Rudin. Arthur with the kill attempt. Received in the back row. A little low for any kind of attempt, so it's free balled over. Cadence backward to Whitehead. Whitehead and a little long. Just a little bit too long. Yep. A little too much power from Whitehead. Yep, the timing. She has to get over and get down on that thing a little bit. Timing was a little bit off, but I'm sure they'll correct it as the game goes on. 4 2. Jay's lead cut in half. Newton back to serve. That one. Just a little miss hit. It looked like she might have gotten it with the top of her fingertips as it skimmed under the net. Yep, much like the Jays, I'm sure Akron's going to come out and try and serve us tough here tonight. They'll take a few of those once in a while, but they want to 
continue serving us tough and get us out of system a little bit. Jaden served it to the back row. Sadoff gets it over. Barthel from the middle of the court into the net and down. It's now 5-3. 5-3 is the score. Jaden's going to sub out. Jasmine Lubin subs in. And back to serve now is Josie Jacobs for the Westerners. Jacobs stops just short. Nice serve over. Saved by Whitehead as Lubin gets it over. Jacobs set to the left side into the double block. Good double block there. Cadence got up high. So, uh, Lauren was trying to go down the line again, but Cadence is all over that one this time. Lauren Sadoff just hit it right into the double block, and it's 6-3 for the Jays. Whitehead back to serve. Gets it over. Back row. Assist. This is going to be a free ball over by Sawyer. Aurora finds the hole right in the middle of the court. Sometimes those mistimed hits, a little change up there throws them off. Everyone's on their toes expecting, expecting that rocket to come, and it just comes over real light like that. She jumped up high as if she was just going to whack that one about as hard as she could and just kind of threw a change up. Now hit over Sawyer. Cadence quick over there by Ryder. Cadence now over to Aurora. Hit zone six, but it was easily received. That one killed. Nice job by Lauren Sadoff on that one. Right in between Cadence and uh, and Ryder there, Lindsay. Uh, they just got to tighten that black up, block up a little bit. That one got right between them. Sadoff goes off. Johnson, Katie Johnson, 5'8", senior, comes in for the Westerners. The Westerners with a fair number of seniors on their team. Looks like about five. As that one almost swallowed up Larissa Poland. Three ball over by Goldwich. Free ball back. Maya grabbed that one, thought that one might have been going out of bounds. Aurora's going to free ball it back over. We've got an injury. We've got a Westerner down on the court. And we're going to have a jump ball as Annie Newton is down on the floor. I can't tell if it's a knee or an ankle that she is down with right now. I didn't see what happened on the play, but it it's uh she she was rolling on the court for a couple of couple of sides over the net there. Hard to see. Uh, there was a group of people there in that little scramble. Not quite sure. It looks like Bob Augustine, the Galen trainer, is uh, uh, is out there kind of checking her ankle a little bit. She is obviously in pain. Um, a lot of times these girls get these ankle sprains and, and guys, and that initial shock really gets to you and scares you more than anything. But looks like she's relaxing a little bit here, and like I said, Bob's kind of taking a look at her. It's like I think we're going to get some ice out here, but for right now what we will do is we will step aside and take a one-minute break. We'll be back in one minute for this injury timeout. You're watching Jays and Westerners on Fuller Digital. Are you ready to start a career with an exciting team? Thermobond is looking to add to our team of experts. We offer competitive wages, a positive work environment, and on-the-job training. Thermobond is headquartered in Elk Point, South Dakota, and for over 30 years, we've been providing lightweight and precast solutions for multiple industries nationwide. Check us out and see if you'd like to start a new career with us today. Park Place Estates Assisted Living in the Mars. You'll appreciate the secure, comfortable environment with maintenance-free living and the camaraderie of a friendly community. And there's always something fun going on. And located on the Floyd Valley Healthcare Campus gives our residents an added sense of security and convenience. Meet our friendly staff, look over our floor plans, and see more at Park Place Estates or call 712-546-6793. Park Place Estates Assisted Living in the Mars. Welcome back to the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym. Matt Schilling alongside Brian Colbeck and Annie Newton was able to, with some assistance, hobble off the court. Uh, she's getting some ice now on the bench and it looks like Shookneck is gonna come in for her at, Liber at Librero or, I can't even say the word. It's, it's, it's tough now because uh, uh, Robin Van Eldick, head coach, is over talking to Jenny Malson about how to do the substitution now when you have an injury. This, you know, the, the libero itself and, and tracking that is tough enough, but then when you have an injury to a player, uh, how, how to fill that in on your lineup card, assuming that, uh, that uh, Annie will not be able to return to the game. So they're kind of working through that right now, and, and uh, referee Jenny Malson is talking Robin through how to, how to get their alignment going, and, and we'll get going here again. The one nice thing about the officials, though, is that they, 
they study these rules because I I know as a baseball umpire, that's one of the that's one of the harder things to do is sometimes is to track these uh, track the rules, substitutions, all that kind of stuff. And luckily, with the certifications that everybody has to go through, it uh, they're able to figure it out in a timely manner. Yeah, for sure. And then you just take some time and make sure you get it right. Don't rush anything. Get it all right, and away we go again. Katie Johnson will be back to serve as the Jays lead seven to four. Received by Lubin, free ball over by Poland. Set up backward. Did it get? It went behind the antenna, and it will be a Jays point. That back set sometimes for those setters, especially when they're uh, behind that ten foot line, can be a little challenging. Josie tried to set it back to that right side hitter, gave a little bit too much mustard there. Can be a little difficult at times, and. Luckily, we had some good eyes down there spotting that behind the antenna as Caden Scoble serves it over, setting up for Hughes. Hughes, looks like she got into the net. Yep, yep, a little too much. She saw the double block there. Set was tight to the net, tried to give a little extra, tap the top of that tape. Caden Scoble back to serve with a five-point lead here in the first set. Jay's lead by five. Caden's on the near side, hug that line. Hughes into the double block and down for the Jays. Yeah, I, I was wondering, uh, back to that Hughes girl, incredible athlete, incredible basketball player, maybe trying to do a little bit too much right there, like that one, she really got after it. She's got to find her way. This is her first time coming across the front row, so she'll get comfortable, I'm sure, as the game goes on. Coble serves that one a little long. Cadence with a little too much power. 10-5, need a substitution. Olsen goes off. Maslin comes in. And Roberto Shucknecht is back to serve for the Westerners. Shucknecht, a little bit of a jump serve. Received by Whitehead. Cadence, cross-court pass. Left hand, and we're going to be out of bounds. Out of bounds on <coughs> Isaiah Sitzman. Yep, Cadence there set it out there, knowing that Isaiah's a left-hander. Isaiah tried to go down the line, came off the side of her hand a little bit, and just outside the line. So have to adjust that a little bit as we go. That will serve, receive, over. Ryder got it over. Shuckneck with the over for the Westerners. Aurora, Shuckneck, Aurora back again and down. Really heads up play. She's, she hit the ball, it was coming right back to her. She stayed by the net, jump up and give it that little tap. Really heads up play by Aurora Goble though. Looks like they're gonna call her into the net. Possibly. Oh, I guess. It's going to be a Westerner point. It's 10 yeah, yeah. 7. Uh, I'm guessing that she was into the net or her feet came down on the other side of the uh, center center tape. At any rate, ball's back in play. Rizea up over the double block. Set up. Free ball over. Cadence backward to Rizea, and that one's touched out of bounds. Yeah, a little better for Rizea having that lefty, lefty come from that right side. A little easier hit for her also. That was a that was a good set and kill there. Jasmine Lubins goes out. Jaden Barthel comes in. As Aurora is back to serve. I'll use first names for the Goldwolves, just so you're aware. Back row, free ball over. Nice job by Johnson. Barthel, shock neck with the, the dig on that one. Big hit. Dig on Maya. Cadence. Maya, back row attack. Two hand, free ball over. Nice job there. Sitzman to the back row. Way up into the ceiling. Free ball over. Second hit by Maya. And that one's over by Cadence. Akron almost hit that one out of bounds. Barthel received by Shucknuck. This is a great rally going on right now. Incredible volley goal so far. Ah! Oh. Barthel right to the net, we had it. I can't even tell you how many overs we had there. We had to have been in the 20 to 25 range there. Yep, yep, that was a heck of a volley for one point. So we'll see how that affects Akron here after winning that long volley. Sawyer back to serve. Maya is able to dig that one up. That nice right hand by Ryder. Again, good kill from that right side by Lindsey Ryder. It's funny in the game of volleyball, that always happens. Someone comes out and gets a Tremendous kill from that side, then they rotate out because with the rotation. So it's always tough when you get a little momentum like that to go sit down. But Lindsey Ryder was the uh, victim of that in this play. Rudin served that one over. Nice dig by Aurora. 
set up. Barthel's going to free ball that one over. Short. That kill. Nice job there by Naslin. I believe it was Naslin on that yeah, one. Yeah, adding Naslin up in the front row, 5'10". Uh, yeah, nice little set from Jacobs there and, and got her done. Johnson is going out. And Sadoff comes into the game for the Westerners. Mackenzie Hughes back to serve. Received by Sophie Reedon. A little bit of miscommunication there by the Jays. There's a free ball over. Now Maya into the single block and out of bounds. Yeah, that was one attempt there where Sadoff was kind of on her heels, didn't get up there with the double block on Maya. To be real effective against her, I'm afraid they're going to have to commit to two, getting up there to stop that middle attack coming. And that leaves a bit more floor open for the Jays to aim for. Poland into the net, side out for the Akron. That is one holdover from the uh, Mike Meyer days is, is serve them tough. And, and like I said, every now and then you take a net serve like that, but we continue to keep that serve percentile up in the 90s, I think we'll be just fine. Akron with a nice student section coming over, making the 30 minute trek over from Akron. Barthel hits that one long and out of bounds. And so we got a tip call. Ah, we're gonna get a tip. Good eyes. Good eyes by the line judge. I obviously missed it. <laughs> Maybe the ref should get his glasses checked. <laughs> man, oh man. Jaden Barthel back to serve, 14-10 for the Jays. Nice reception. Up for the kill. Hit, saved by Sophie. Now Jaden with the kill attempt into the net. Sadoff did a nice job getting that one off, yep. uh, getting no, getting that kill over and setting the Jays a little off balance. Yep, yep, getting that, getting them off balance a little bit. Jaden electing to take a little shot like that, and then uh, the blocker of the net was all over it. Josie Jacobs back to serve for the Westerners. Of course, the Westerners also a Fuller Digital Solutions partner is Maya. <laughs> Tries to kill that one, but right into the net. It looked like uh, uh, Cadence and Maya maybe weren't on the same page there. Cadence set it off over Maya's head a little too far. Maya still tried to hammer it and got it right in the net. Back to serve again is Jacobs. Jacobs hits that one over. Poland, nice job. Free ball over from Lubins. Right hand, out of bounds, just long by Sadoff. Yep, there too. It gets a little frustrating sometimes when you got Whitehead there in the front one, you know, and you got to adjust and try go line all the time. Sadoff just got a little bit too much underneath that one and carried it out of bounds. Whitehead back to serve. Jays with a three point lead. Three ball over there by Shechner. Man, that one was just a little. A little blooper right up over the net, the free ball. Cadence, she easies that one over. Set up, right into a hole, and that's gonna be down and out of bounds off the hit from Sadoff. Yeah, that is one thing with these two teams and a lot of War Eagle conference teams is with the athletic nature of these girls, multi-sport athletes, softball, basketball, baseball, you know, they're athletic enough to make those plays where they come off the net, make that save, and then tip it back over. Heck of a play by Akron. Katie Johnson back to serve now for the Westerners, and that one's going to be long. Nice court sense by Jasmine Lubin to let that one go out of bounds. We're going to have a substitution now in. Sitzman's in as Poland goes out. Caden Stobel is back to serve. Jays with a three-point lead here in the first set. Shekna receives that one. Kill attempt right down the line. Man, that was a missile by Mackenzie Hughes. And like I said, she's getting more comfortable as the game goes on. Only a sophomore. You know, you can see the excitement in her face. You know, just it's different coming into this gym for the first time as a starter. You know, but you can tell she's getting comfortable now. Nice play by Hughes. Shecknuck, the libero. Back to serve. Jump serve. Just clears the net. Whitehead. Goble. Goble. And down. Caden to Aurora, nice combination. You bet, you bet. Uh, Aurora over there on that right side yet before we got the, the switch done. Uh, sister set her up and Aurora put it away. I was wondering how much we'd see that combination here tonight and we really haven't seen too much of it. A lot of, time, yep, a lot of times on that first transition when we received the serve, Aurora has been getting stuck on this side until we get it back over and she gets over that right side. But I'm sure we'll see more of her as the game goes on. Aurora with the serve there. Whitehead digs that one out. Now over to Barthel, Barthel through the double block, up in between the rafters, needs a free ball over, Akron gets it, Whitehead, 
now Cadence. And we are going to get into the net. Yep. It will be a point for the Jays. Eddie Naslin on that block, either going up or coming back down. Must have got some fingers in the net. Aurora back to serve. Jays with a four-point lead. Set up. Maslin tries to get it a hole in there. Cadence quick sets it over. And that one's going to fall over on the Jays' side. Nice job by Jaden not to give up on that one. And set up. And we're going to have net a net call again on Mackenzie Hughes. Yeah. Just a little bit. Yeah. She set up a little just too close to the net. Yeah, and there too, uh, nice vertical on her. She got up off the floor. Maybe wasn't quite in position for it. Tried to just push set it over. Unfortunately, got that top tape again. Timeout on the floor by Akron. We'll take a 30-second timeout. Back here in 30 on Fully Digital. Sitzman Construction, Lamar's, general contractors you can trust with the job you need done, when you need it done. Call Jeremy at Sitzman Construction when you need a remodel or a complete build, and they work with EPS Buildings. Jeremy takes the time to know what you need. Past clients say he's reliable, honest, fair-minded, and reasonably priced. Contact Jeremy at Sitzman Construction. Jeremy and his crew will satisfy all of your construction needs. 712-540-2731. Welcome back to the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym. Matt Schilling alongside Brian Kolbeck. And Jay Walkathon is in full effect. We've talked about that. And Deb Campbell Memorial Gym, that's something that comes up every year at the uh, at the Galen Ball. Comes up for auction. Uh, more recently, I saw a post online today that says we got the... Uh, uh, the fun to cause new doors put in finally finished up on the front of school. You can check that out at Galen's Facebook page, uh, Galen Catholic School. The door, the front doors do look nice, and that was fun to cause from the last Galen Catholic ball. Jay, Jay's lead 19-14 right now. Whitehead, Cadence, backwards serve to Sitzman, and that one's out of bounds. Yep, a little too much on that. She, you could tell when she hit the ground, she kind of held that wrist in a pose to make sure she snaps through, hit that one a little flat, and carried right out of bounds. Allie Sawyer back to serve now for the Westerners. Floater over. Maya receives it. Cadence sets it up. Back over. Bartho. Cadence. Sitzman. That one's touched. Nice job. Cadence now back over to Barco through the double block, and that one's going to be at the shut neck, and that point for the Jays, five points away from the set. That was one of those instances where it looked like the libero was in position to receive that spike. One of the blockers of the net just altered it a couple inches, came off the side of her hand, kind of got up on that the libero a little bit, and then uh, off her hands out of bounds. Student section chanting Rudin, and she gets an ace. Just falls right in between... Uh, Shucknack and Sawyer there in the back row. Yeah, communication there. I'm sure they both thought, I got it, I got it, you get it. It's kind of scenario, so. Shucknack to Sawyer. And free ball over from Hughes. Cadence back to Maya. Off the hit and out of bounds. You know, Addy Naslin was all over that. But, again, when Maya's swinging for the house like that, when it carom caroms off their hands, it ends up in the sixth row of the, of the home stands here. So, point Jays. Sophie to the back row. Jacobs and the free ball over again. Maya to Cadence. Cadence over to Jaden in between the double block. Jacobs across. Looked like it hit somebody in the head there and back that down. Thing came on our side, ricocheted off of it. Looks like maybe Rizé's shoulder and somehow ended it back up on the Akron side. A lucky bouncer for the Jays. Jays two points away here from the first set. And that one's going to be an ace. Another ace, a little floater from Sophie. Uh, uh, Shookneck got a little flat-footed there thinking it was coming, and it just died right in front of her. Sophie on a little run here. Larissa, or Larissa Poland started the game with a little run, so book ended by a couple of runs here. Hopefully I didn't jinx that. That's going to be touched and out of bounds. Akron. Nice tip by Josie Jacobs. Didn't have a, just couldn't do a whole lot with it, so decided to push it over off Jaden's side of her hand and out of bounds. Mackenzie Hughes will go back to serve, hoping to rip off nine in a row for the Westerners. Serves it, and out of bounds. Not able to save that one. Jays win the first set, 25-16. We'll be back to talk about it in a minute. You're watching Jays and Westerners. On
Rural customers deserve great internet too. You deserve Evertex No Limits Internet and the quality local services that comes with it. We've dedicated 32 years to bring customers like you reliable and unlimited internet, up to 50 megabits across 22 counties. It's internet you can count on. Call or email our Everly office to get started. You and your family need internet with unlimited use, no contracts, and no overages. You need Evertech. Visit evertech.net to learn more. Evertech, internet where you live. Digital and personal. You can have both with Prime Bank. Use our app to check balances, pay bills, make transfers, even deposit checks. Earn rewards with UPIC Checking, the only checking account that lets you choose your rewards, points, higher interest, or cash back rewards. And when you need in-person service, Prime Bank has a branch near you with a friendly, experienced staff ready to help. The best tech for when you want to bank from a distance and the best people close by when you need us. Prime Bank. Earn more your way. Welcome back to the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym. I always got to look back over just to make sure I'm saying the right name here for a little bit yet. Still rolls off the tongue. Matt chilling alongside Brian Kolbeck. And Brian, I don't know if you've been down there or not, but the new cafeteria looks absolutely amazing. They have did one heck of a job down there. It, it, it is. It's spectacular. I, we didn't quite double the amount of dining space for the kids, but even more important, uh, an exclusive cafeteria section where us parent volunteers don't have to schlep candy bars back and forth and pop. It's a dedicated cafeteria section and, of course, an upgraded kitchen for the, for the valuable staff we got in there to make sure the kids can get out, get a good meal, and in a timely fashion because it seems like every year we kind of pack more into their day. So it's, it, it was a much-needed addition since the original one was here with the school in, I think, 1952. They've done a bunch of stuff in there and stuff in my neck of the woods, too, as far as the AV stuff. There's a large TV that uh, I believe in the future will display games that are streamed by Fuller. In addition to the uh, daily school menus down on another television, there's a uh, drop screen in there so that um, AV presentations can be done in there. Uh, different meeting space. It's a little, a little different than being in the library. Yeah, yeah. And, and like I said, much needed. I, I know uh, we always kind of classified it as is that's where most of the people go you know when you go to uh, get something to eat and drink to update that was uh, was a was a blessing and, and many many thanks to all the local businesses and benefactors that donated and are still donating to that cause on that uh, to that end if you're interested in uh, I know that Galen is still looking to fundraise it even though the project is uh, for the most part about 95 percent complete uh, funds are still needed to help to help uh, finish finish the payments on that so if you're interested contact Amy in the development office Jays receive Akron serves first here and Maya Whitehead with a killer cross court kill again just swinging for the house um, especially Maya having to have gone against Natalie for so many years of their varsity career I, I'm sure she's just going to enjoy this evening knowing that uh, she's got a better chance of getting it over than she did in the past previous years Isaiah back to serve now for the Jays into the double block Rudin and Barthol is not able to handle the pass from Rudin. I think they maybe got up into that rafter and kind of threw them all off, but it'll be interesting to see at the end of the last game, uh, Akron got out of sorts a little bit with Josie Jacobs having to run way behind the 10-foot line and or taking the first hit on that side, uh, not allowing her to distribute the ball like she's used to. It'll be interesting if Akron can clean that up a little bit this game. Naslin serves for the Westerners. Cadence now to Barthol. She goes cross-court trying to do the same thing that Whitehead did, it just went straight up and straight back down. Uh, outstanding dig by Allie Sawyer. Uh, laid out, popped it up in, uh, in the air, and, and uh, not a lot of response from her teammates, but outstanding dig by Allie for not, for not that time. It's always a helpless feeling as a player watch when you just made an amazing play and your teammates can't can't help you out. Shuckneck gets it over the libero. Cadence, now to Whitehead, and Whitehead's just hammering them home now. Yep, again, uh, Natalie Olson this time's up there doing the best to defend, but unfortunately one-on-one -on -one against Maya, the way she's swinging right now, it's going to be a tough road to hoe for her to try and take it on one-on-one. One, uh, one -on -one. Jasmine moving back to serve. Three to one. Jays with the lead. Received by Hughes. Set up. Cadence. Now Whitehead and Whitehead having it home again. Right over Shuckneck in the back row. There's a good example, you know, it, with that first pass, if Jacobs has to run that far off the off the net, past that 10-foot line to set, uh, Sadoff and, and Hughes and the girls are going to have a tough time getting a good swing on it. Sitzman 
cross court serve. Aurora two hands that one back over the net. Little miscommunication again. Looks like Jacobs looking for a little bit of help. Little help, little help there. I don't know if she, I think I heard her yell help, but I wasn't sure. Just a little lack of communication there too. Sitzman back to serve again. Hits the sixth zone there. Poland, cross court free ball. Jacobs, right into the double block with Sadov. Nice pass there to Jacobs. Great set to Sadov, great swing. Just Galen had timed that one perfectly with the double block. Lubin's back to serve, sorry, Lubin back to serve. 6-1, Jays with the lead. Three ball just up over the outstretched arms of Cadence and Maya. Yeah, a little more finesse there from Sadov, just tipped it through Maya's uh, hands. Great play there by 12. Kind of looks like they're, the Westerners are missing just a little bit of the communication possibly from Annie Newton being a, being injured. You know, new faces again, you know, you get accustomed to role players, Colt and Hughes, and it takes them a little while during the season to find those new role players, and, and I'm sure they're slowly identifying them, but as the season goes on, they'll, they'll get it figured out. Whitehead had that kill, 7-2. Jays still with a five-point lead as Whitehead will be back to serve now. Whitehead with a jump serve into the near side. Jacobs set up Sawyer. Nice job by Whitehead to get the, dig that one out of the court. Again to Whitehead and down. She just could not handle that one as she was moving hard to her right. Yep, great pass by Josie again. Jacobs getting it over to Sadoff. Sadoff knows what to do with it when she gets it on the net like that. Katie Johnson back to serve now for the Westerners. Gets that serve across to Whitehead. Cadence, backward pass. I think she was looking for the backward pass and just flipped it over the net. Poland to Cadence. Kill attempt. Nice job by Jacobs, asking for a little bit of help. Past the 10 foot line was Shecknacked and into the net. Yeah, as a libero, you know, trying to take those opportunities to hit a good down ball. That time off to her side a little bit, didn't get her feet under it quite right. Didn't get hold of it like she should have. Back to serve is Cadence, 8-3 is the lead. Double fist from the back row. Easy over was Olsen. Into the net was Lindsay Ryder. Yeah, just like Shookneck, Lindsay again, trying to hit a down ball there. Didn't get her feet set underneath her, kind of hit it down by her ear, right in the middle of the net. It's kind of hard to hit a down ball when you're flat footed. It's, For sure. You're, not, you're definitely not gonna get over For the sure. net then. Shookneck back to serve, jump serve. To Maya, two-hand reception, Cadence, now Aurora in between the the double block, and they're going to say two hits on Hughes. I think they're going to get Hughes with the lift there. Okay. She had a good dig out of the net, but I think her hand was open. In those instances there, if you keep that hand close and just pop it, you'll, you'll get the dig out, but I think she had her hand open on that one. Aurora with the serve. Maya, Cadence, thought she had somebody right behind her. Sitz been able to bail her out. Back to Whitehead, Whitehead over to Cadence, Cadence to Barthel, off the double block and down. Nice job, I think Addie Nathlin had all you of that one. got all of that one. She saw Jaden's, saw her line of approach there, was right in position there to make a good block. 9-5, Jays with the lead. Allie Sawyer back, floats it over. Jaden, now Cadence. Jasmine able to get that one down. Another good save by Sawyer, you know. Uh, Jacob Zare was caught on the other side of the net. Everyone kind of waits for the setter to go get those. And, and like I said, lack of communication. She's just got to let them know she needs some help on that one. Sophie Rudin back to serve here. Shuck, Shuck neck. Over for the Westerners. Whitehead and the kill. Nice job. Yep, I think Akron's kind of stuck in that where they're pulling Jacobs too far off the net yet with those passes. They're not getting good swings on the ball. And then Maya and, and uh, Cadence and those girls on our side can just tee off. Wondering if Robin won't call a timeout here pretty soon to get that straightened out. Rudin back to serve, 11-5. And that one's gonna be down. Remember to like and subscribe to Galen's Fuller Digital channel. That way you'll know whenever we go live. You can also find our events at fullerdigital.net. Shockneck. Jacobs. Now that one's hit all the way back. Nice job by the Jays to rally that one back over. Whitehead with a backward bump. 
He got an easy over. One hand reception by Cadence. Nice. And Barthol with a free ball. Jacobs setting up Naslin. Dug out by Aurora. Barthol in between the double block. Is now when we're going to get the timeout. Nope, looks like we're going to keep rolling. 13 to 5. Jaden gave him a little bit of that changeup we were talking about earlier. Just caught the top of the blocker's hands and they kind of brought it back on their side with them. Shuck neck, not able to hold on to that serve. Ace for Rudin. Still no timeout. Going to let Sophie serve another one. Jay's up by nine. Shuck neck. Able to get it over Maya and down on the Akron side. We keep watching the bench to see if they're going to call a timeout. What would you do, coach? Yeah, Jenny's looking over there quite intently after every point, but Robin maybe just wants to let them kind of work through it a little bit. I, I don't disagree with that either. These girls got to learn how to handle adversity in some of these situations. Barthel, three balls, that one over. Received by Hughes. Nice flip there. Just a quick flip by Naslin to get it to the near side. You know, as fans, we sit and, and maybe armchair quarterback some of these coaches sometimes. I'm sure Robin has her idea. And like we talked about, new faces out here. You know, maybe she's just testing them a little bit. Tough gym to play in, you know, tough War Eagle competition. Yeah, maybe she's just giving them a little bit of test here tonight. Nothing wrong with that. Cadence, now Sitzman, gets it over. Jacobs over to the near side and in between the double block. I don't even think, I don't think Sadoff got that one. I don't think so. It's one of those I think where we jump up as blockers and kind of close our eyes expecting the big impact and didn't realize it was on our side uh, right in front of our eye. <laughs> Mackenzie Hughes back to serve. Low, just above the tape. Cadence gets it to Whitehead and Whitehead just hammers that one home. Yeah, she's, she's playing well this evening. She's swinging well, timing it well. Going to be tough, tough, tough for Akron to get in the way of that one. I'm sure her grandparents are watching down in Florida tonight on Fuller Digital Solutions. We appreciate you tuning in here. Jays with a nine-point lead. Is Rizea, left hand over the net. Set up. Dug up by Aurora. Now to Cadence. Easy over Naslin. Yeah, and that's what you do. You, you hammer, 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 and everyone gets ready for that 99-mile-an-hour heater, and you give them a little tip and finds the floor. No Thor's hammer there, just an easy feather on that one. Sitzman tries to find the hole, not able to. Sadoff gets that one down. Yeah, Joe Jacobs, nice pass to Jacobs. Jacobs had to bump set it to Sadoff, but a lot more in system, a lot more, a lot more regular for him, let's put it that way. And when they do that, the hitting percentage is quite a bit better. I think they're looking to feed her a bunch, but they're just not able to get it there. Correct, correct. Naslin back to serve, Poland. Hayden, now Barthel into the double block. They're going to let that one go. Poland, Cadence, Whitehead, and she throws Thor's hammer down. Yeah, up there too, just that single block up there at the net. I know uh, maybe Robin is, is playing it this way, not bringing Lauren over to try to help. Um, but yeah, Maya's going to have a big night if they don't uh, try to bring a double up to stop her, I'm afraid. Jasmine Lubin back to serve. Almost not received by the, by the Westerners there. Olsen does get it over as Aurora from the flat foot just to the left hand there of Natalie Olsen. Uh, much better down ball though. Uh, was aggressive with it, gave it a good swing instead of just trying to finesse it. That's when those down balls are a little more successful. And while she was a she didn't get much elevation, she, looked like no. she was just up on her toes, she yep. had more height on the ball, which was good to see. Jasmine Luthen will be back to serve with the 11-point lead. Received there by Sawyer. That one's going to be long. Yep, just hit a little bounds. flat, didn't get on top of the ball. Double block there in front of her, trying to trying to get around or over, a little too flat. Lubin back to serve. Set up, over for the Westerners. Whitehead floats it over, feathers it over. Nice job by Maya. 21-8, to eight. Jays with a dominant lead here in the second set. Lubin will go back to serve. Again, 21 to eight. And she got an ace on that one. Nice job. Just uh, Westerner just kind of whiffed on it there in the back row and it fell to the ground harmlessly. 
sometimes in games like this, you start peeking at the scoreboard a little bit, and all of a sudden the energy starts leaving you a little bit. Akron needs, needs to find a way to, to get a little energy. They need to play here. Poland to Aurora. Gets it to the back row, set up for Sawyer. Sawyer finds the hole right in front of Jasmine. That was one of those chains up again. I don't think Sawyer got all of it, um, but a good spot for it. And then, like I said, that's what Akron needed right now to kind of get the tide turned a little bit here. Josie Jacobs will be back to serve now. Down 22-9. And a nice ace catching Larissa Poland flat on her face. Yep, nice serve by Jacobs. Little floater there, same thing. On her heels a little bit, expecting it to get to her and died right in front of her. Jacobs back to serve. Over to the near side. Cadence or to Aurora. She cut the she cut that one hard Tough across test, the net. Yeah. Jasmine over to Cadence. Maya into the block and down. Natalie got it. Olsen got all over that one there too. But like I said, when you're when you're hitting that hard. That almost seemed like it brought Natalie's arms back a little bit, and then it ended up on Akron's side. So, point Jays. Maya with a 13 point lead back to serve. Almost on the hole there. Sadoff has, hits that one long. Yep. Just a little too much. Initial initial play, Sadoff was trying to hit from the right side. Maybe not her most comfortable spot. Put a little bit too much mustard on it. Set point on the line, 24 to 10. Serve to the near side, out of bounds. Just a little too much oomph on that one. That's something new with Maya's game this year. Uh, she played some extra volleyball through the winter months, and she's developed a little bit of a jump serve there. So, again, there too, something new to her this season. So, maybe working some kinks out on that yet. See a little grin on her face as she receives that one. Miscommunication. Jasmine thought Cadence had it. Cadence thought Jasmine had it. And you know what happens when that happens? Nobody's got it. Exactly. We deal with that a lot in sixth grade volleyball too, Matt, don't we? <laughs> just just a couple times, just a couple times. That one is up into the rafters and not able to be handled. Another ace serve by Lauren. Lauren's uh, back there at that line and, and just rifling them over. You're giving us little fits here. Dan Goble up and not barking, but barking at the troops, letting them know. Getting a little nervous, wanting to set point, and he got it. 25-13, set two for the Jays. We'll take a one minute timeout before we hit set three. We'll be back in one minute here on Fuller Digital Solutions. We put kids at the top of our list, and that is why parents put Floyd Valley Therapies on the top of theirs. Should your child need physical, occupational, or speech therapy, or assistance through our pediatric feeding clinic, rest assured they are in great hands. As moms, dads, sons, and daughters ourselves, we know how important family is. Taking care of your family is just as important to us as taking care of our own. Thanks for making us part of your community, your health, your life. Floyd Valley Healthcare. Since the 1980s, Colbeck Incorporated has been a family-run business providing their customers with quality wood and feed grinding services throughout Northwest Iowa. Colbeck Incorporated knows that your time is valuable and they pride themselves on getting the job done in a prompt and reliable fashion. Local cattle feeders have been relying on Colbeck Incorporated hay grinding for 30 years, and Brian and Kevin are proud of their partnerships they've built with their customers. Whether it's grinding, mulch, or hauling, call Colbeck Incorporated today and see what they can do for you. Welcome back to the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym. A couple reminders, things to follow, things to take a look at. The Jays will be back in action. The football team will be in action. 2-1 Galen Catholic versus 2-1 Hinton this Friday night. That will be on the Hinton Fuller Digital Solutions channel. You can catch all the action there. Remember to like and subscribe to the, the current page you're watching, the Galen Catholic one. Also, you can find us uh, when we're going to be on at fullerdigital.net. Galen Catholic itself, Facebook page, uh, Instagram page, all at Galen Catholic School. You can see all the happenings of uh, what's going on in the school. Uh, as we mentioned before, the, the fund of cause that was at the last Galen Ball, the door wrap went on uh, today around lunchtime. So if you haven't gotten a chance to check it out, it looks really nice, and it helps really add something to the front of the school. It does. It, it, uh, again, much needed, uh, much with any large building like this with the usage that those front doors get. Uh, the ones that were there were just wore out, and 
and updating the security, updating the look. Uh, and again, thanks to all those businesses and individuals out there that donated to that project. Um, just a nice addition to the school again, along with the cafeteria. A lot of stuff going on in the school. We mentioned Jay Walkathon going on. Um, I know that volleyball is, again, we're in, we're in full swing. We will lose you here in the coming weeks as harvest is coming up. So we say hello to all the farmers that may be just listening to us uh, here on Fully Digital Solutions tonight. Appreciate you tuning in. Uh, appreciate everybody tuning in where they might be. Um, can't, I, can't stress enough, too, to everyone listening or watching. Uh, just stay safe out there. Um, the, the crops always do get harvested. No need to run yourself any thinner than we always do. So just stay safe. Love to see you all back here in the gym for basketball season this winter. And on that note, watch for tractors. They do move quite a bit slower and give them just a little extra room if you would. Jay started this third set. Cadence to Maya. Maya just hammers that one home. A little bit of smile there on Shucknuck's face as she took it to the ground. Yep, she got up a little closer than I think she wanted to and and, and Maya, Maya gave her the business on that one. So, Poland serves that one up for the Jays. Say it off. That's going to get a touch and out of bounds. We'll be over to the Westerners. There's a good example of, of you know, this Akron team being able to, to do everything. I mean, you know, there's a good pass up to Jacobs. Jacobs got it to Lauren. Uh, and Lauren is more than a, a qualified all-conference type uh, hitter. So, when they do the little things right, they're going to give people fits this season in volleyball, no doubt. Sadoff. And there again, same thing. Uh, they get the ball to Jacobs. Jacobs gets it to Lauren, and she knows what to do with it once she gets that good set. It's a little difficult to catch those on the fly. It's almost like catching them, if you're a pitcher, catching that one right off the bat For in sure. softball. For sure. Wolves. Back to serve and out of bounds. Haven't called that night name yet tonight. She's, uh, I'm guessing she might be in for Newton as we see Chucknack come back in to the ball game. Tip off the net there for Jaden and down. A little Those tapeworm there, just enough of the tape to, to just dang near kill it and ends up on the floor. You were talking sixth grade earlier. We saw one on Sunday that just rolled about half the width of the court and and stayed on the same side of the net, something we've never seen before. That one serve over. <laughs> Shuckneck gets it to Sadoff, who clears the net. Aurora into the double, and that wasn't two hits by, I believe by it was, uh, two but there. Call there but. Aurora, that one's straight up up off the beam and down on, on uh, Akron's side. You know, there are two uh, hats off to Jacobs there again. I mean, she didn't quit on it. Um, you know, sometimes those bang bang plays like that, the officials were human too, didn't see that one, but uh, that's off to her for not giving up on her. Didn't see much complaint out of Coach Goldel, so I'm assuming he's okay with that as the double block gets that one down, double of Cadence and, and uh, Maya. Yeah, we are in a unique position here this season too with uh, having Cadence, our setter over there, who is also a very, very, very good hitter and blocker. So tough, tough over there for Lauren right now with this rotation. Tata, or uh, I'm sorry, Larissa Poland not able to to handle that that uh, that hit. I say Akron. that, and then she gets one through. So sometimes sometimes it's the broadcaster's curse. <laughs> Jacobs will go back to serve for Akron. Coach, I think telling her zone one, trying to get it to zone one. Larissa not able to handle that one and down. Is this the spark that Akron needs to make this one this set a set? Little float to that serve, but Larissa, of course, has her feet, feet flat back there. Need to move your body over with it, but it must have floated on her a little bit, gave her some fits. Jacobs back to serve again. A little stronger serve as Jasmine able to handle that one. Cadence and a nice, cute little something there for Maya. Yeah, Josie steps back there and really puts some, uh, some mustard on that thing. And like I said, it must wiggle a little bit as it goes over because it gives our girls fits sometimes. But... Maya with a nice tip there to get it back on our side. Maya with a jump serve over, received by Shucknecks. Sadoff, received by Larissa, save, three ball over by Maya. Jacobs, easy over there from Olsen. 
Aurora just floats it over. It looked like she was a little off balance herself heading toward the antenna. That set carried out too far outside, but again, being athletic as she is, was able to get it just enough on that ball to keep it inside the antenna and find an open spot on the Akron floor. Maya back to serve with a three-point lead, and that's going to be an ace off Allie Sawyer. Nice job as it floats back off and into the uh, stage area. Jays lead eight to four. Remember to like or to uh, check out FullerDigital.net. You can check out your favorite team there. Is man, Hughes just ducked just out of the way. That was coming <laughs> right for her as it floated out of bounds. A natural reaction just to get get out of the way. Yeah, she is nice play. Uh, not uh, not interfering with something that was going to carry out of bounds. Serve received by Whitehead. Aurora, and that one's down. A little too much for Shuckneck to handle. Yeah, I, and not only that, the blocking up at the net for Akron. Um, I don't know if maybe a little fatigue is setting in, but uh, the blocking is not as aggressive as it needs to be right now to throw our hitters off. So right now, I'm sure Galen will just keep swinging away. Jasmine Lubin back to serve. And two hits. Yeah, double contact on the setter. Again, that setter running her butt off back and forth across that 10-foot line. If that comes off her hands with a goofy backwards rotation, it'll be a double contact call by the official. Heard we had a lot of that at uni the other night as that serve was long by Cadence. Yeah, I, I, would, I was just watched that one on, uh, on Fuller or online. Yeah, there was a lot of double contact calls. Not sure if that night the officials were maybe being reviewed or, or observed, but there was a ton of those double contact calls that night. Cadence, free balls that one over with a quick two hands. Right hand there by Hughes. Cadence, free ball over from Aurora. Had a little something on it. Flat foot was Hughes over. Ryder tries to kill that one. Hughes again, cross court. Nice job by the Jays. Cadence just free balled that one over and Jacobs just pushed a little too far into the net. That goes into that court vision too, because Cadence will do that. I've noticed against uh, different respective teams is find their setter. Wherever their setter is on, on this side, she will find them and intentionally shoot set it over to their setter to take her out of their system. Shuckneck will free ball that one over. Cadence, Ryder gets it over. Now Cadence. Cross court pass, and that one's down for Barthel. Yep, enough of that block up at the net. Got just a piece of it. Kind of took some mustard off it for that back row player. Is about all she could do with it. Aurora will go back to back to serve with a 12-6 lead. Aurora gets it over. Shuckneck from flat foot with Sawyer, and down will be Jay's point, 13-6. Timeout is called by Akron. We'll take it with them. We'll be back in 30 seconds. You're watching Jays and Westerners. Unfold Pandemic has proven the need for great internet, and Evertech connects more rural customers in Northwest Iowa than anyone. Evertech wants to connect you too. Your internet keeps you connected to what matters to you. Family, entertainment, work, school, and more. Evertech's No Limits Internet is just what you need. It's reliable, has unlimited use, no contracts, and no overage charges. Use your internet and always know what you'll pay. Call or visit evertech.net to learn more. Evertech, internet where you live. Welcome back to the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym. Matt Schilling alongside Brian Kolbeck. Jays lead two sets to none. They also lead in this set 13 to six. Can they close out? Time will tell. Aurora Goble will go back to serve here for the Jays. Aurora serves that one a little long and timeout did its purpose. Yeah, again, going back to the Serving them, uh, serving them tough. Uh, I'm sure Dan's not going to be real happy with the uh, with the uh, level of uh, of out of bounds serves we've had here. We got to kind of clean that up a little bit. Cadence, and that one's long, long by Ryder. Yep, a little long on that one. Still a little too flat. Just got to snap it down. 
back to serve again will be Sawyer. Jays still lead 13 to eight as Cadence went back to Whitehead. Nice dig by Whitehead. Barthel over the double team. Free ball over there from Jacobs. Cadence gets it back over, trying a quick attack. Whitehead back to backward to Cadence. Sitzman, Cadence, Sitzman, a little too much into the net. And yeah, down. great hustle plays there by Akron. Like I said, when you get into just the athletic side of it, uh, they can play with absolutely everybody. Like I said, they just need to clean up a few of the fundamentals, but uh, great all-around volley by both teams there. 13-9, Jays still with the lead, and we're going to have a net violation by Hughes. <laughs> just a little too close to that. A little too excited about that one. Yeah, those are pretty tempting when they get laid right up above the net like that for you. So, uh, yeah, like I said, McKenzie just got after it a little too much there. Now that's something you'll, you're going to not like to see when it comes down to the basketball court for you, Coach. Shucknack able to get it over the free ball by Wolf and out of bounds. Jays will take the serve, leading 15 to nine. Sophie Rudin looking to go get on a run here. Rudin serves Shucknack over to Hughes. Great swing by Hughes there, put it right off uh, Maya's elbows down on the Galen side. And McKenzie will go back, go back to serve here. 15-10, five point game. Aurora took a two-hand set to start that one, and that set was into the net yep. for the Jays. Tried to do a bump set to Meyer there, a little too tight to the net. A little difficult for the Jays. Hughes now back to serve again. Sitzman to Cadence, now to Whitehead. Whitehead tries a cross court and got shuck next to Try to just punch it up there in the middle. I, yeah, I don't know if that was going to land out of bounds or not. but That's just it, too. When you're hitting the ball hard at your respective team, your opponent, sometimes it makes that court bigger. You make those snap judgments there to try and make those saves when you don't need to. It's just kind of a natural reaction to that, that, that thing coming at you. And off of that, Larissa Poland with the ace off of Allie Sawyer. Larissa goes back to serve again with a 17-11 lead. Shuckneck to Jacobs, off the double block. Cadence now, back row attack by Aurora and into the net. She got a little excited there and I think she got a little higher than what the ball was. Oh yeah, yeah, first swing from the, I believe that's her first attack from the back here tonight. And Dad's over there in the corner, she looks back and just straighten a few things out. It'll work eventually, but just straighten a few things out. Rolfs received by Rizea. And Sadoff, I feel like we say it a lot here tonight, but she had a nice kill there, even though it was an end of the net. But yep, great save by Sophie, all for not. Uh, blocker got into the net a little bit there. Rolfs goes back to serve again. It's a four point, four point match. Whitehead, nice job getting it right into Olsen's face and down. Yeah, yeah, especially off of a off of a not ideal pass to the setter. The setter still got enough of it under it a little bit, so Mike could get up and put it on. Barthel back to serve to the far side. Sadoff, and she gets that one down. Nice, nice swing. Job. Nice swing. I, I can't, you know, it's not like a broken record, but, you know, we broadcast the Hartley Melvin Sanborn game the other night up here from the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym and, and tonight with Akron. That is the one benefit of playing in the Water Girl Conference. You have Athletic, good, clean volleyball most of the time, and tonight is no exception. Now we can talk through this point, but is the War Eagle Conference, and I don't want to put it up on a pedestal, but is the War Eagle Conference one of the more, per, the I don't want to say predominant, but prolific conferences in the state for volleyball? Yeah, you know, it's a, that's always a tough one, Matt. Those Eastern conferences that ship up uh, team after team after team uh, to state, the eastern half of Iowa, but you know, when you can send a uh, uh, Galen, a uh, uh, Unity, you know, Hinton looks like they're going to be a, a tough animal this year. Rems and St. Mary's, all kinds of athletes just coming out of their ears there. I, I would have to say that you'd have to put us right up there with the best of them, I would think, as far as from top to bottom in the conference. That was a little bit of a weird angle there for my Sadoff as 
Cadence gets that one just to kiss the tape and down. Yeah, yeah, but again, another fortunate bounce for Galen. 20 to 14, Mild Whitehead back to serve, five points away from this victory. Whitehead floats that one over. Jacobs, now to Sawyer. Whitehead, Poland, three balls that over. Jacobs, Sawyer, Maya takes the free ball. And that one is nicely killed by Ryder. Uh, nice Ryder. kill by Lindsay Ryder again. I think she takes some teams by surprise when we have a 5-7 uh, middle hitter up there, but they, do, they don't count for her vertical jump, and that was a good example of that. She just gets up and finds a corner. Maya abandons the jump serve there, and she's going to get the ace off of Mackenzie Hughes. Back to Lindsay Ryder. I'm, I'm almost positive that she gets that athleticism from her mother, not her father. <laughs> well, as long as we're clear about that. As long as we're clear. 22-14. Whitehead with the serve. And Aurora tries to hammer that one home. Isn't able to, and that one's long. Just a little too much from Caden. I'll tell you what, Akron did a nice job of receiving that. For that. sure. Aurora and Lindsay were standing literally on top of each other, and Aurora was just the one that jumped to hit that one. I think they both wanted to go get a chunk of that thing, but great return by Akron. That one barely over by Sadoff. Aurora out of bounds. Yep. Just a little too much. Down ball again, kind of behind her head, hits it flat, carries over that end line. Got to get a little more top spin on those things. Sadoff back to serve, 22-16. This one isn't out of reach yet. Jump serve, and this one's out of bounds. There too, I, I guess I don't fault, fault Lauren too much on that one. She knows that, just like us, when, we serve, when, they, when you serve tough and Cadence has to run around, we don't get the best look for our hitters either. So, you know, I, I, don't, I don't fault her for really trying to put some behind that serve. And, and get us out of system a little bit. Cadence, that one received nicely. Nice backward set. Cadence to Aurora, and Aurora finds the hole. Yeah, Allie Sawyer there got kind of caught flat-footed. Again, only a sophomore. Didn't get up there and offer any resistance to, I believe it was Jaden, or, or was it Aurora? Aurora, you know, she just has to, and she kind of gave that face that she knew it was her bad, so. Match point here, served by Global. That one into the net. And the Jays win this one, 25-16. We'll be back in one minute to wrap it up. You're watching Jays and Westerners here on Fuller Digital Solutions. Go check out the second grade room is what you're saying? Okay, go clean up. You got clean up. Welcome back to the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym. I apologize if we're, I'm not sure if we were live there, but something's going on somewhere else here. I gotta take a look at here once we're done. But the Jays win 25-16, 25-13, and 25-16. Uh, nice performance there by, uh, by the Jays tonight against the Westerners. Yeah, we mentioned at the beginning how the how the kids would respond after maybe taking an ugly loss there uh, against Lawton in that last tournament. And really, like Maya Whitehead, really kind of came out and set the tone. Uh, not as, as savvy as my counterpart up here in the in the crow's nest as keeping stats, but, you know, Maya really, really kind of took this game over from the beginning and, you know, even kind of changed Akron's. You know, she got to a point there where she'd go up to the net and, Akron was just waiting for that missile to come, and then she was able to tip. Um, a nice performance from her and the team in general. Uh, Akron, uh, like I said, uh, not to not to be too coach cliche here, but you know their athleticism. They're going to give teams fits in the, in the War Eagle once they get it figured out. I, I think if they don't have to lean on Hughes and Sadoff so much, if some of these younger kids can step up and 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 perform and get get a few kills for them, like I said, I think they'll give teams fits in in, in and out here as we move forward in the season. I'm not sure if we're talking about a different game or not, but Annie Newton went down early with the ankle injury. Hope she's okay, but maybe that's a little bit of a, makes it more of a closer game. Uh, you never, you know, ifs and buts, you know. I, I you know, there too, I, I, you know, this, again, coach cliche, but, you know, it's just like when teams roll over to Akron for softball. It, it seems like they carry that, 
that that invisible uh, mon- monkey on their shoulder when they get there. You know, Akron maybe is a little bit. You know, they came out with some fire. That second game didn't go their way. You saw someone kind of looking up at the scoreboard. Energy momentum is so huge in this game. We all know. Um, but like I said, they're going to work some things out. Robin's going to get them back in the gym tomorrow night. I'm sure work some things out and and uh, really give teams fits moving forward. Brian, I appreciate you joining me for the two games you were up here for this season. I realize harvest comes up and in, 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 in duty calls. So, but I'm sure uh, I'm sure the fuller audience surely appreciates you coming up and, and giving the insight that you're able to give here. And, and again, I, with that, everybody out there that's listening, uh, stay safe, take it easy. Uh, harvest always does get done. And uh, like I said, we want to see everybody in the gym come basketball season this winter. We're looking forward to seeing you coach again during basketball season this winter. Well, that'll do it. Jays win in three, uh, 25-16, 25-13, and 25-16. So on behalf of Brian Kolbeck and the entire Fuller Digital Solutions team, I'm Matt Schilling saying so long and good night from the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym.